Jason and Vinny with Granny and Craig. Riho always. What in the hell happened to the video? Uh-oh. What is that? I think your camera just reset. Hi, everybody. Oh, no. Now you can see me back there somewhere. Zoomed way out. Sean Spears is a promo. I watched Kevin Nash on the Steve Austin show. He noted that lately he has been working with WWE, training Omos. No. Yeah. Bro, you don't tell people that until the guy gets better. (laughs) This hooded figure came out, and I knew immediately who it was. Because, you know, Rhea Ripley has turned heel. And even before she turned heel, she would do interviews in the back. And they would shine a light on her that was the same color as the light that Edge and Damian Priest were using. Ooh, so they artsy. actually Ronda Rousey versus Charlotte Flair in an I Quit match. This match was great. This match was fucking great. Great. Do you understand? Great. Happy Corbin putting him in a hold and lying there and lying there and lying there. And Mac have to escape, and Corbin will go to a different hold and lie there and lie there and lie there. Is that the fiend in the front row? And I was like, this guy's going to fucking get it. And you mentioned a guy who got who's fired. He's fired. He's out of the company. And you bring up the fucking fiend. Someone needs to pin Roman. They just couldn't do it. I was so baffled when the show was over. They put it on last after the only championship match on the show with Ronda Rousey winning the women's title. So it's like, they had to do something. Nope. Entertain us. Where's your uh, Undertaker hat today? I decided it's silly. It's silly to wear an Undertaker hat on this show? Have you watched this show before? Everything we do is silly. I have to act my age. (laughs) You do? (laughs) My name is Brixton Huxley. The only problem is I'm like 20% sure that actually is an NXT name. Paxton Huxley, isn't it? No. Hayden Fallon. Paxton... What is Paxton's last name now? Tatum Paxley. Tatum Paxley, that's right. Joel Langus has several suggestions. I don't know if they're all good with NXT names, but they're just they're eminently silly. Joel Langus? Well, there you go. He's cunning. Vector Seafreeze. Gargle Humpster Crust. Excuse me. Excuse me. Quixie Love Soap. <laughs> and Carroty Bushwick, later shortened to just Bushwick. Newman Bloke. Eventually, after joining the main roster, he becomes bloke. No, he would become Newman. You guys don't get it. Actually, have to be like a, like another word because it's like theory. So it'd be like, uh, you know, my name is Talent. That was Talent. not worth the wait. Hang on a minute. Yes. How did the camera follow her? Is he following me? What I liked best of all this week was uh, Charlotte getting humiliated twice. <laughs> That's my favorite one. <laughs> Vindictive granny. Amos won it. Amos. Amos. Was it? Wasn't it Amos? Omos. Whatever. What's a prepotosis? And there is a very good chance that... I want out of here. <laughs> wow. Doink would fit in with the Blackpool Combat Club. Sure. Yeah, he probably He'd would. walk in the door and they'd say, what the fuck is this? And he'd start stretching guys and say, okay, you're in. You're in. You're, you're no no initiation. You're just one of us now. You're, you're right about I'm that. I'm in part. a fucking mood right today. Well, that's because you watch NXT. The problem is you don't watch her on SmackDown. I keep trying to tell you that. Like, if you watch those shows, it ain't that bad. It ain't good. Why don't don't you, get me wrong. Why don't you quit your job? Well, it's called... It sounds awful. Uh, no, I I make money. I enjoy... Listen, so what? I, I in, Well, when you don't make money, then So you it is. kill yourself with a really expensive gun? Uh, what? <laughs> this weather and this May weather is much worse than I NXT I will stand 2. outside 0. in a hailstorm for two hours before I'd watch NXT. Well, next time there's a hailstorm, I'm going to make you stand out there in the fucking hailstorm. If I don't watch the show, great. I know this was an awesome match. Oh, no. I know they were great, but I was still so pissed off I couldn't enjoy it. <laughs> All right, it's not their fault. You were that mad about NXT 2.0. Adam Cole, Dax Harwood, I apologize to both of you. You deserve better than the review I am capable of giving you today. Well, fuck off then. I'll review it. He's got an Islander's sweater on, and he's getting kind of a mixed reaction, and you see him testing the vibe, and Heyman's on commentary. He's not sure what's going on, and then Punk turns around and reveals the jersey he's wearing is of the guy who left the team years ago. If there are multiple universes, 
<laughs> in most of them, he flipped in and fell down on his ass, and I don't know what they would have done. I don't either. That's a good but question. bro, he stood there for a long time, and he grabbed that rope, and dude, it was like he was going to do some fucking Olympic spot that was going to get him the gold medal if he pulled it off. This next segment was a thing of absolute beauty from start to finish. Like 15 minutes of perfect television. We go to commercial for what seems like a commercial for Dark Side of the Ring. Barry Horowitz is on my TV screen. Yes, they got Barry Horowitz. With a graphic that reads, and I quote, legendary Jewish wrestler. And he is. Well, they announced a contract signing. I know how you feel about those. I just, I, I actually laughed. And uh, this is one of the great contract signings I ever saw. Well, main event. <sighs> Jeff Hardy and Darby Allen killed each other. Darby, I mean, this fucker can sell. That is the strength of Darby Allen. That is his biggest strength. Not falling off ladders or jumping off fucking bridges or getting blown up in a self-made video. It's that he can fucking sell. So I hope that all the youngsters watching figure that out before they jump off something high and kill themselves. Well. He jumped off a lot of high things in this man. <laughs> and killed himself. Almost killed himself, yeah. Dear at WWE. And, oh, no. And yes, I tagged them. Your television program, NXT 2.0, is awful. Please wow. stop producing it. Thank you for your time, Vincent Verheyen. It's fucking stupid that your champion has been kidnapped and left in the wilderness, and, like, nobody cares. Is he still in the wilderness? Was he attacked and eaten by bears? As Santos and Tony have their mob movie, which begins like so. Who is this? It's me! Me who? At that point, I began to fast forward. Oh! I could take no more. I thought that it was very, very well done, and... I don't know. Am I the only one? Yes. But fucking Bodie Hayward is a cheerleader. I have never seen someone put more of, of like their life into pretending to be a fucking cheerleader on a wrestling show. He was having so much fun. Uh, I wrote here, there is not enough alcohol in the state for me to get through this show. Wow. Anyone who can hear me, anyone within the sound of my, of my voice, if you can hear me, help me. <laughs> Someone do something to help me out of this. Wow. She said, rough rub him. I said, what? pardon me? And I rewound. And she said, you took out Icky Manjiro. And rough rub him. What was that? I watched this over and over and over. The best I could get of what she said was growth sunset. The answer was Brooks Jensen. Oh, is that it? I'm now crying. Cho died in the ratings. I wonder why. I can't fathom. But this one died worse than usual. So an all-time record low. All-time history of USA Network. That makes me feel better. All-time oh. record low. Oh. A point one zero on the USA Network in its normal time slot. Oh, that makes me so happy. I'll well, see. You know, oh, best part of my whole day. Ended up on a good note here today. 